or welcome to the channel if you're new it's Sahara so today I'm going to be doing a Timu haul for you guys it is a very random Timu haul my Timu hauls have been random lately because I've just been getting things like this that I need whether it's electronics makeup um, storage whatever it may be you know it's going to be what you need <laughs> I will have all of these products listed down below and I will also pop my coupon code right here that can typically save you 30% off let's just get started on this video because I don't want to keep you guys so the first thing we're going to get started on let's get started on are the lip liners these are all by Poudier if you guys remember in a couple of my previous Timo hauls I did pick up some of Poudier's makeup, including their lip liners. Let's see. Is it focused? Yeah. Oh, so kind of adjust like that. And does this remind you guys of any brand that has this similar wood packaging? The other lip liner from Poudier that I did pick up before is this one right here in this little Timu case, which I will get to the case in a minute. So this is also the Lippy Pencil in the shades 10, 11, and 12, but I did just pick up 10 and 12. So I'm actually gonna swatch them for you guys. They're in this square shape, and it also comes with this cap right here to sharpen them. So there is 10, very creamy. 11, which is the one I already had. And this one is a little bit more cool tone. Honestly, this one is not as creamy. So there is the next one. 12, I think this may be yeah, the warmest one. These are more pigmented. Put it in order again. This is how they pretty much go. And then the Precision Pout Lip Liner is in the shade number 12, I think. This is more of like a warm red. I was hoping that it was going to be like more of a brown neutral. So yeah, there is that shade right there. For today's video, I might go ahead and apply 10 and 12. And I am just going to apply this lipstick that I got from Timu. It's the PCU number one. I think it's like a peachy tone. Oh, it's so pretty. And then I also have this lip stain glossy lip stain in the shade number two from sensory party something like that <laughs> it's not too much of a lip gloss but it has like a glossy tint if you don't have something under it all right so again this is the case that i got for the lip liner so i will link this down below just in case you want a case like this this is a diamond shape and they also had a square shape as well but this is what i've been keeping my lip liners in it's just really helpful so i will just put these in here i'm thinking about picking up the square one so i can put long lipstick tubes in the square one and then keep the diamond shape for the lip liners but i do need to buy more lip liners because I don't have enough lip liners to fill it out. Another great storage place, which brings me to my next item that I just picked up. As you guys know, I've been using like this spin thing for my makeup brushes. Even though it has like different sections to it, which is great so I can put eye brushes in one, certain face brushes in the other, maintain dust. It does collect dust. I'm talking about maintain. This is what they look like. It is an acrylic type of plastic and it does not like seal or um, you won't hear a snap or anything. It's just like a little flap. I put all of my eye brushes in one because this thing is huge. So all my eye brushes including some um, lash tweezers are in there and then I put all of my face brushes. Hold on, let me take these brushes out very quick look at my eye brushes and by the way it is in this dusty rose pink color but they also had it in a gray color both of them did come with this at the bottom it didn't say on the site what this is but i'm thinking that it's like a brush rack it has like these parts right here and then it has these holes so i'm thinking that this may be after you wash your brushes maybe you can put them on it so it's not touching directly on the paper towel or the ground the ground 
and they also had another one that I was gonna buy as well I'm still thinking about getting it so I will link it down below just in case you wanted another type of brush holder besides these because you could put your brushes in these as well I've seen a lot of people with them and then you could put your brushes in these but they also have some sort of acrylic three kind of section storage where um, you lift up the flap and like you have three places to put it that one is great too but I was thinking that because I have so many brushes it may not fit that one but I will still link it just in case you have less brushes than me I'm you know I'm in my minimalist era right now where I'm trying to settle down on some of the makeup products that I've been hoarding if I'm not using them when I put my brushes in here I gave the ones that I don't use anymore to my mom so I could fit <laughs> more of my brushes in here so you know if you're a minimalist it should work next thing that I have that is a makeup product is this mafic setting spray and by the way this is the 3.38 fluid ounces they had this big one in this spray bottle and then they had a small one now this one says makeup setting spray lightweight and thin texture deep moisturizing the smaller one that they had said get a grip which I'm thinking that is a gripping spray and if it is then it is of course a dupe for another brand and someone said online that it smelled good but this big one was under that same type of review that said it smelled good this one does not smell that good it smells like water alcohol and then like makeup maybe the smaller one does smell good but this one right here is very very moisturizing oh my gosh i used it today to spray my sponge when i applied my makeup and can you guys see how dry my hands are let me spray some of this on okay so i'm drying my hands in look at how Hopefully you guys can see the difference of how moisturized my hands are. If you have dry skin, oh my gosh, pick up this spray. I've never had a setting spray that was this moisturizing, which makes me think that this may only be good for like a priming spray to moisturize your skin, um, maybe even in between applying your makeup. But setting, I don't know, I don't, I'm not trying to mess up my makeup because it came out pretty good today. <laughs> If I do it myself and I don't want to risk this running so I would still pretty much recommend it's just that I was hoping that it smelled good because you know I love the scents like I don't mind when makeup products are fragranced as long as they smell good like you know some makeup products may have vanilla chocolate strawberry um, watermelon type of scents I don't mind those scents as long as it's not like a perfume scent or alcohol scent it's fine to me but anyway this is the G Como portable oil blotting papers and I got it in the bamboo and charcoal one they had different kinds of this they had the bamboo charcoal they had child I don't even know but again <laughs> you can find it down below <laughs> 100 sheets of charcoal blotting paper and I did take the sticker off because it does come with a mirror and what this does is just in case you don't know you can probably use it on bare skin too but typically through the day when your makeup starts getting oily you take these blotting papers and you blot it because of course if you want to um, use your finger or a paper towel you will definitely remove your makeup and you'll have a patch right there these are supposed to limit that you may see a little bit of makeup pick up but it wouldn't be as much with a blotting paper typically and it also comes with this sponge I don't know if other oil blotting papers have this but this one specifically has this little you take this paper off and then it has like this sticker part right here on the sticker it says oil absorbing paper it says tips but the tips are in Chinese so I can't read that but what it does is you stick it in and it picks up a paper for you so you can blot it I'm not like oily right now I am getting hot so a little sweaty but I'm not oily so I will try this out in a short for you guys if there's certain products like these that stick out to me of course you guys know I will do a dedicated short on it just so it's easier to focus in on that product for a video so this is a tattoo it's a four a four sheet no it's not four sheets it's just four tattoos on one sheet it's the loser Shoot loser slash lover 
the B is crossed over the S part for loser. But I think like this is the tattoo for the It movie. Because you guys remember when the, um, the loser club kids from that movie had this type of saying on the, um, on the cast. You guys know I'm a huge fan of horror movies, thriller movies. I've been that way. And TV shows. I've been that way since I was a kid. So I want some horror tattoos and until then I got this but I will when I get the tattoo I will have it bigger going across here this port power strip with USB ports and it does have this little three prong whatever your outlet has you're gonna have to either use this or adjust it to fit it has three of these ports down here and three USB ones and I love this because the USB ones sometimes I don't have like the charger piece for all of them I got the square one they do have a longer rectangular one these were about eight dollars I think the longer one is about eight dollars this shorter one is about seven dollars the thing is about the sellers one day it could be eleven dollars the next day it could be twenty dollars the next day it could be six dollars so that's why i don't always tell you guys how much a price is go down to the links click on them and you'll see the prices but just know that it's always inexpensive because it's team like they just give you affordable prices i got the black one they did have it in white as well white and black but the black one right here stands out because these do turn blue when you turn this on so i will insert a little clip of how it looks when it's on the shorter ones do press on and off right here it has the power button but the longer one will have the switch right around here that you press right, and then the last things that i want to mention to you guys because they are closed my oh my gosh my first time picking up pajamas <laughs> Like I mentioned before, I do love me a good horror movie. But, and by the way, both of these are um, nightgowns, dresses, whatever you want to call them. Here is a Freddy Krueger pajama dress. And the front of it right here says Sweet Dreams. And then it has his hand. And then the back of it, one, two, he's coming for you. Three, four, better lock your door. Five, six, grab your crucifix. Seven, eight, gonna stay up late. Nine, ten, never sleep again. Never sleep again never sleep again i was like i don't even know if i want to say that out loud because i was thinking about you guys know the um the rhyme riddle whatever bloody mary and you know when you say it like three times <laughs> i was thinking like is that going to happen with this but anyway i did get this in an extra large by the way i wanted it to stretch i did buy one of their dresses before in a large and even though it fits it was tight around here because you know i got it ooh, so i need to go up a size it does fit perfect where i could have sized down from down here below but up here it will be a little bit tighter so i would typically recommend going up a size but you know if you don't have to worry about this get your normal size and final thing in this haul actually is the love me like my demons do i will insert clips of how these look on because they are so so pretty and it has this skull right here and they don't have like that shiny you know sometimes that shiny cheap cheap material this is not like that it's probably little cotton little polyester type of feel but it's still soft still very very stretchy that is the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed this timu haul it was a very random haul we had a little bit of this and a little bit of that but of course you always know i'm gonna give you essentials i'm gonna give you the things that i would definitely recommend you have because these are just something that you just need for your basic everyday use and things like that so anyway please don't forget to like comment subscribe and i will see you guys in Video. Bye.